We try to go on a brewery tour, but all the tours are full or they won't give one to just a few people. Sassy Distillery says, we don't care, come on down. Our tour guide doesn't speak English, so my father translates. Sassy Distillery was founded in 1707 and has stayed in the Sassy family the whole time. Currently run by Rudiger Sassy, the distillery specializes in using local resources, such as local grain and water from the Schoppinger Mountains. The distillery has a barrel storage capacity of 250,000 liters. The word for grain in German is Korn, which is also the word for the distilled alcohol from the grain. So this is a play on words in German. From Korn to Korn. Over the course of the tour, the guide introduces us to five of the many liquors Sassy produces in the form of shots measured out with these hand-blown whiskey measures. Needless to say, I am very buzzed. When the tour ends, I buy a small bottle of my favorite, a juniper-flavored whiskey called Grafschafter. This is one of the best liquors I have ever tasted. I'm kind of upset this stuff isn't in America, as I'm having to portion it out in thimble sizes for special occasions. On the way out, the tour guide hands us three small sampler bottles of lager corn, which my father lets me keep. They told my father that lager corn is not whiskey. If anybody out there knows why lager corn isn't whiskey and could put it in the comments, that would explain a lot to me. Dear travelers, please be aware that you can bring back one liter of alcohol in your checked bag. Though I have had friends that have jammed five or six bottles in their luggage. I guess it's all a matter of not going over the weight limit for your bags and maybe a little bit of luck that the TSA does not check your bags. And now, having said that, I am probably on the TSA watch list. On our evening shopping trip, I discovered the Germans love to put food in tubes. None of this is toothpaste. Also, you can get your redneck cocktail of Jack and Coke pre-mixed in a can. I should probably mention that this was Lidell, home of McKennedy, the fake American brand. In the evening, I finally smoked the Havana cigar. For a moment, I think that it might not have had that much of an effect on me, as I don't feel any different, and I just go to bed. I sleep three hours, and wake up feeling like someone punched me in the stomach. Kids, don't smoke.